Hi everyone, welcome to Ketu Blogging and in this video I will share you 3 hidden secret tricks that you can use in Cadence theme. So if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button. So let's jump to the first trick that you can use in Cadence theme. So for this you need to install the Cadence Blocks plugin that comes with the Cadence theme and as you can see that I have added the Cadence Blocks plugin here in this website. So to use this let me just go to the post here and let's create a new post here and here you need to add a row layout here so I what I can do is I will click on row layout here and let me just add, add an element here so let me just add an image from here so let me just add this image here like this and now I have added this image in the row layout so let me just select the row layout here now you can write the CSS code for this in blocks only using this option custom CSS. So you can simply write the selector and write the CSS code for this block. So th this CSS code will only load on this page only and it will not load in all of the pages. Like if you go to the WordPress additional CSS section and let me just show you. So let me just go to the custom here here and here if you put any CSS code in the additional CSS section it will load everywhere on your website but if you need that CSS code on this specific page then you can directly add the custom CSS for this block as well and if you are using the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin then you will get this option to add page script here as well so you can directly add the custom CSS, JavaScript and HTML code right in this page only so this javascript or this css code will not load in other pages it will load only the same pages and it will helpful if you are making a custom home page and suppose you want to make some changes using the css or you want to add a particular javascript code for the home page only then you can easily do that just put that javascript or put that css code for that home page and it will load only on the home page so this will improve the blog loading speed of your website and it will not affect the other pages as well so this functionality we will get in this pro version but if you are using free version you can use the row layout feature and you can add a, your custom css here as well now let's check the second feature that comes with this cadence theme so for this i will add a image block here and as you can see that this is the advanced image block that comes with the cadence blocks plugin so what i can do is i will click on the select image here and here you will see this option default media library and if you directly upload your own images from your computer but they have recently introduced this pixel feature in cadence blocks plugin so you can directly search for stock images from pixel website so let me search for something like seo and as you can see that you will see different seo images from here so let me just search for writing like this and you can see that you will see different images regarding writings so in this way you can directly um, use these stock images from the pixel sites so let me just select this uh, image here so i will click on here and i will click on download image and as you can see that the image is downloaded and uploaded to our media library so this will save some time searching for stock images for your website and you can directly add these images to your website recently wordpress also introduced the similar feature so if you use that wordpress feature let's click on plus here let's click on browse all and here you will see this option media and recently wordpress introduced this open verse so you can search for images so let me search for blogging and you can see that there is the stock images that you can use using this wordpress feature as well so let me just click on here and it will directly download it to your media library and add it here as well and it also added this attribution to this image as well so you can also use this cadence feature to import stock images to your wordpress website now let's um, check the third feature that comes with the cadence theme so for this what i can do is i will click on this option here and here you will see this option blog visibility so if you are running a multi-author website or where you have a lot of users then you can limit the usage of these blocks suppose you want to limit this 
testimonial blog to only admins so what i can do is i can simply search for set the minimum user role to admin and you can simply save these settings now this testimonial blog will not show to authors or editors it will only show to the admins only and suppose you want to restrict the usage of some of the blocks like you don't want to you don't want your authors to use this lotty block then you can simply restrict this to minimum user role to authors so let's click on here now suppose you want the, to restrict the advanced gallery to only the editors so it will be accessed by the editors and admins but authors and contributors won't be able to use this block anymore so this is a handy feature that you can use to limit the usage role or limit the block visibility in your website like suppose you want to limit this role layout to let's say author so author can use this role layout but you can see different options like you can limit these options so author won't be able to change the margin and padding in your role layout so you can set it to admin so only admin can edit the margin and padding in the role layout so it will give more options or more fine tune options like you can limit the usage of the background overlay image so author won't be able to add a background overlay to your website so this is a very handy feature that comes with the cadence theme and it will limit a lot of restriction or put a lot of restriction to your authors or editors and admin have the all, all controls in the website so this is the three hidden feature that comes with the cadence theme and cadence blocks plugin so if you found this trick helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye